Hi YouTube, I'm going to show you via this screencast how to set up encrypted S-MIME email using macOS 10 and the built-in mail app. So let's get started. Okay, first uh, I'm going to give you this link to an S-MIME certificate. There's actually a number of different authorities that can give you a free S-MIME certificate. Uh, there are paid ones which um, give you your real name and your email address and are pretty trusted. But there's also a number of free companies that will give you a free personal use S-MIME certificate. Um, basically the one I'm going to use here is Komodo. They give you a, a one year long uh, certificate that's free. Uh, most browsers can use it. It works uh, um, it has 512, 1024, 10, or 2048-bit encrypted SMI certificates, which are, which are just fine for what you need. There's a very high-grade encryption. Um, the, only th the only downside to a free certificate like this is they don't give your personal name on it. It's just your email address. But for what we're going to do, this is just fine for our purposes. So I'm going to give you the link to the Komodo one. It's very simple to get. Um, so you follow the instructions. There's actually a special form you fill out. So I'm going to set one up right now. And you pick the uh, key size. The higher the number of bits, the stronger the encryption it is, which means uh, it's going to take longer to, for anyone to try cracking it. These are all fine. 512 bits is more atoms than there are in the universe. It would take, you know, centuries to crack with a regular computer. So uh, you fill out the form. You give yourself a special master password. This one's a revocation password. So in case the password, in case your thing gets compromised, your computer gets stolen, you can generate a revoking key, which will cancel it remotely. So I'm going to set one up. Usually make it a very difficult one, make a very high grade one, because you don't want anyone to be able to guess or crack that password for obvious reasons. Um, just read the terms and conditions. And they should generate a, okay, they're going to email you a link to get your certificate. And what happens is you're going to download it in the browser, and it will add itself to your keychain. So I open up my email, and in a moment I should get an email, I should get a, no, I just heard it. Okay, here's the email. My certificate is ready for collection. So it says you click to, click and install the email certificate. So what happens is you're going to click on it. It's going to download it in the browser. Attempting to click and install. So you immediately get a download, and it gives you a special .p7s file, which is your private key. So once you click on open this, it's going to open up the keychain access thing. Do you want to add the certificate from the file to your keychain? So we're going to say yes. All right, so just added a new certificate, and let's see. So now I have two keys. I have a public key and a private key. They're just added. Now, if I close and reopen my email, it should add that key to my email. So let's see. I open up a new email message. You're going to see these new buttons right here at the bottom. This. Um, meaning you can encrypt your email and sign your email. So if I want to send an email to another person and I want to sign it, which means I can prove that it's from me, um, I'm going to make sure that this, but this check mark is checked, which means the email is signed. So I'm going to send an email to my other email address. Testing, can you read this? All right. Now, you'll notice the padlock is grayed out because, for the moment, I don't have this recipient's uh, public key. So I can't send them an encrypted email yet. But what happens is, if you send a signed email, and, ha and they send you a signed email, your email program will automatically add their public key to the key ring. So f future emails will be encrypted. So I'm going to send this email address to myself. I'm going to send this account a signed email from me. I'm going to make myself a copy as well.
Okay, do you want to sign using the key? I'm going to say always allow, yes. And give it a moment to send. Okay, it's been sent. Now, Okay, I just had the other email account send me back a signed email as well. Once uh, both parties send each other a signed email, the email program mail in the, on the Mac automatically stores the public key, which means you can now send and receive encrypted emails back and forth from one another because you now have each one's public key. So here's the email I got, and you'll notice it's all seamless. Mail automatically copied and stored it in the keychain. So there it is. So all I gotta do now is if I reply to this email, you'll notice there's a padlock here. And the padlock is now ungrade. So if I close the padlock, it now means I can send an encrypted email to this person because I have their public key. And I can also send the checkbox because they have my signature so they know that this email actually is from me and not a forged email. So let me just send a quick reply. Okay, so I hit send, and now we have back and forth encrypted email. Simple as that. And just to make sure, just to make sure it's actually encrypted, if I go check the actual source of the email, the raw source, if anyone were to intercept or try reading the email or spying on it, this raw code is what they're going to see. They're not going to be able to actually see my email. It's in this raw code format. However, the mail app does a very good job of using my private key and decrypting it. So this is the email I actually get that's decoded. Hey, there you have it.